Today, high pressure has moved in, but in mid May, that means we heat up. Drier air also moved in. We were talking about the fact that yesterday we'd had this weak front move through. Nothing dramatic, but our dew points have been 50s and lower 60s, which is nice. However, dry air, especially under sunny skies, warms very quickly. And so we saw up or so we saw upper 80s and more low 90s. Really not much in the way of cloud cover at all during the day today. We'll stay under mostly cloudy skies tonight, but out to our west, we'll start to see the increase in cloud cover and eventually some storms. Now, when our climate data came out, the high was 88. We have since hit 89 degrees, so a little above our average and thankfully nowhere near records. Records this time of year can get into the upper 90s, but also record lows can get into the 50s. Boy, that'd be great, but unfortunately none of that coming our way anytime soon. 80s and low 90s on the map right now and dew points have been a little bit lower, but unfortunately not going to last for very much longer. Winds will start changing to more of an east and southeasterly direction and those dew point values so more of a muggy feel will be coming back. Still a light northerly wind, but later tonight and overnight that will begin to change. What we're looking at is trying to figure out the timing and placement and kind of the complex of storms and several storms that will be moving our way. Right now, kind of a rough idea on the timing late Thursday evening into the night. Another chance on Saturday, maybe a few storms on uh, Saturday or, or a few more storms on Friday, a fewer storms on Saturday, and then we turn hot but dry on Sunday. So here's what's going on. Big upper disturbance that brought us our severe weather a couple of days ago, moving toward the East Coast. What we're watching now are several more disturbances out over the Mountain West, which has already started to produce some severe weather over the panhandle of Texas. We'll be watching out West for our next weather maker. In the near term, we'll see just the increase in cloud cover during the day tomorrow, so partly at times mostly cloudy, and then the complex of storms moving out of Texas. Exactly where these develop and then where they uh, move through will be key to our forecast. It is possible these stay more central Louisiana and southwestern to central Mississippi. If that's the case, we kind of miss out. That is what the Euro and the GFS are saying. Now, some of our high resolution models are saying this complex is going to move a little bit more to the south. Definitely a better threat north shore. And again, here we go Thursday night into the early Friday morning hours. But this model has the storms also kind of an equal chance south of the lake. That is certainly possible, although a lot a lot of the consensus from some of the high res models more in this corridor. We'll see just how far south they get. This is round one model also brings in some scattered showers early Friday morning, but another better chance later in the day Friday going into kind of early Saturday. So we are going to get come kind of two distinct rounds of severe weather. Exact placement and timing though has been very, very difficult with these. Notice this model keeps most of those storms late Thursday, more so onto the north shore. And again, possibility of some of those south of the lake, but the vast majority will stay to our north. And that is kind of the thinking from the Storm Prediction Center as well as the Weather Prediction Center with regards to severe threat, low end threat level two on the North Shore Thursday into early Friday and then for Friday into Saturday, more of a widespread threat for severe weather. As far as flooding goes, more so over central Louisiana. Now this is for Thursday night into Friday. We find the North Shore under that level two of four for street flooding and then once again a little bit more widespread Friday, but yet again more of a focus just to our north. So it is possible that this complex stays north of us, but a kind of equal chances of it staying more to the or, or being more focused on the North Shore. Point is with these complexes of storms, timing, placement and what the structure actually looks like is very difficult to forecast well in advance. It really will be one of those kind of day of. So during the day Thursday, we'll be watching that complex develop in Texas and then we'll have a much better idea of where it is going to go. But definitely looks to be more of a late night round of rain Thursday into early Friday. Another chance late Friday into Saturday. Then we dry out and heat up as an upper ridge builds in for Sunday and into much of next week.